I would like to sincerely thank the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines for their show of support and solidarity following my detention on Friday the 11th of March 2016. I am deeply humbled. Your expression has further convinced me that the yearning for democracy in governance, respect and economic empowerment runs deep. It has strengthened my resolve to continue being a voice that seeks to echo the dreams and aspirations of our people. It is evident that I was targeted by the police after my plea the night before during a radio discussion for the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to become more vigilant and determined to stand up to this creeping dictatorship. My detention is part of a systematic attempt by the government to seek to intimidate its perceived enemies and to try and silence any potential voice of dissent. But what they don't understand is that I am not the enemy. I am simply a Vincentian who wants better for my country. One who has grown tired of standing on the sidelines and watching the moral decay of our country, the growing divide amongst our people and the hopelessness of our youth. Rather than addressing the issues of offering our people real hope, they have chosen to seek to silence our voices through fear and intimidation. The Ralph Gonzales administration continues to use a small fraction in the police force as the administration's own element of harassment and repression. Vincentian people must take note, and so too should the rest of the world. Our democracy is at risk. This current challenge that we face must be met with determination and unity. And in the words of one great Caribbean politician, we must move forward on our feet and not on our knees. Also in the words of the great Nelson Mandela, for to be free is not merely to cast off one's chains, but to live in a way that respects and enhances the freedom of others. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, stand firm, stand strong, and stand resolute in the face of injustice. My name is Colin Graham, and I thank you very much.